Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky. That's if you see me for the very first time. Hi, welcome to my channel. You're the right spot. This is your number one Aproko Madame here on YouTube based on Big Brother Ninja, like anything reality TV shows. And for those of you who are my returning subscriber who already know about the drill, you get you get what I'm saying. You guys are most definitely welcome back to our Justin moon so guys yes i have been missing in action for some while a lot do not even don't even confuse this smile for this thing because a lot has been happening in my life you understand but that will not stop me from coming to feed you guys with our normal aproko and gist oh grrr, big brother niger highlight has just begun and it began yesterday and i was just trying to put myself together to come on here to start gisting you guys about the highlight and without further ado let us just get right into this video so guys i have a book right here where i jotted the things i'm going to tell you guys i'm sure you guys will watched yesterday on but if you did not watch let me just sum it up for you it only happened that yesterday was more of you know the housemates coming to the house and getting to know each other and all that that happened in the first two days you understand the incident of um, them um, staying in groups talking about themselves they have groups of Lakon, nengi erica and then tulani badge which they were just talking about themselves how, how they grew up and all that and all that and then the incident of also katrina cooking for them and they were singing around the kitchen or you're just singing mama too good though you too good mama we cook for that's kind of a thing uh, you understand so that's just what happened yesterday that's just a brief roundup so today it all started with of course them waking up and going today is like day three and four they highlighted day three and four today you understand they started from day three which they woke up and went to the gym praise is always the one leading them in the gym section you, you get and then you just realize that lecon and erica they were always together talking to each other and you just know that they really had beautiful friendship going on between them the good thing i like about this whole big brother ninja highlight is that it, it tends to show us how this whole thing started genuinely how the housemates met each other and they genuinely cared for each other they genuinely loved and liked themselves they genuinely they gave each other a genuine smile and then all of, all of a sudden most of them cannot look each other eyeball to eyeball which is really really sad i just hope that at, at, like at the end of the highlights and maybe the reunion a lot of them will settle the rift between them i just hope so because truthfully after watching most parts of this highlight it really make me feel like oh my god these people really do did like themselves when they came right now i'm not talking about just erica and lincoln i'm talking about generally the housemates you understand and then all of a sudden the tension is just too much everywhere after they came anyway guys moving on you see lecon and erica always in each other's company talking about each other you hear erica telling lecon that whenever she speaks with lecon lecon she feels wiser you understand and you know lecon has sense let's just put it like that so that was just it and then prince was massaging katrina and then we moved on to katrina talking about her love life to the housemate telling the housemate that she has never been in love with any man and then they were like asking her what about the person you got married to or something like that you were married to she said like she just respected him not like she was in love with him that she has never loved any man and then that moved us also to the part where biggie called them together and of course gave them a tax and this tax was them making a hand sanitizer and a face mask for themselves you understand and they did enjoy their self, themselves well at it you understand you know this tax thing can make everyone bring out you just it just brings out the creativity in you or some sort you guys and then after the tax they also moved on to diary section you know big brother was just asking them about the diary section what they think about each other and all that and then you realize that kaisha broke down there was some emotional breakdown from kaisha and lucy you get but kaisha felt like everybody was not vibing with her like everybody were giving her some kind of vibe and she actually did not understand and then he moved on to even big brother asking lilo about eric you understand and come to think of this eric and lilo matter it just started like the second day lilo and eric were already in each other's arms up to the point that the third day where they were doing a diary session biggie had to ask lilo 
that come on we've been seeing you around eric what's up with yana though she did not have a tangible answer to tell biggie about what actually what's going on between she and eric but that's just it for diary section everybody said that they're getting to know each other that the housemates are sweet we i love them um i i, I wasn't expecting it like this they were just they had a lot of sweet things to say about each other only kaisha was the one that broke down and was like people were not giving her the kind of vibe she's expecting or the, she doesn't understand the kind of vibe she is getting you and it was at that point i don't know if you guys remember a point where they, they shared the whole food in the house and tochi had nothing to eat like tochi was literally like i will never forget his, his words where he said this one mad meal like thought she was surprised everybody was he was just going about talking like have you eaten this one say yes have you eaten everybody keeps saying yes and it just feels as if he was the only one left out he wasn't giving food and i'm sure if tochi was outside the house he would have lashed out i'm, I'm very sure of that because the way he was reacting he felt as if he was just holding himself down and not wanting to overreact because of food but i can understand how he felt because how can everybody eat and i just felt like i'm not i'm the only one that has not eaten and they were just making fun and laughing at him you understand so that was just it to so the end of the first half of the show because the show comes in 30 30 minutes you understand it was kaisha and praise talking and then kaisha was like if you asked her about five months ago about her life that she wouldn't have told you that she would get married that right now she has thought about it differently like she felt she can get married but first of all she wants to go for one year experimenting spree like being on experiment exploring and all that that she's not ready to get married at the moment that she's giving herself like the whole year like one year to just get to know different things life differently because like five years uh, five months backward and going backward that she said she wasn't going to get married but now she's rethinking it but she's giving herself one year and hoping that she explores more before she gets her mind settled to maybe settle down and something like that and then Prince talked about her his girlfriend that he loves her so much they've been together for four years that was just the end and then the next batch came it started with day four big big brother like i don't know if that was a tax they were mimicking each other and you know that praise is good at mimicking everybody praise was the one mimicking every damn person he mimicked oshohai he mimicked nengi he mimicked um um katrina he just isha just mimicked everybody at the end of the day and then they moved on from that mimicking to kaisha like rendering a song for biggie big big brother ninja he picked you up from nothing turns you into something big 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 that kind of song you guys understand remember that song where kaisha composed for biggie and then um tochi was the one rapping for the as in rapping during the song you understand and then the whole housemates were just vibing to the song anyway they gave that highlight too and then moving on from there neo and eric were literally talking about their girls like they were shocked at how the girls came became very close to them and neo was just talking about how v was the one that you know tried to just talk to him for them both of them to you know be friends or something like that and lilo attaching her herself to eric and all that and at first they felt like they are surprised or something like that but they don't mind the relationship you understand and neo was like he does not mind the relationship if he ends tomorrow fine but the fact that she walked up to him just makes him see her differently like he really values it and he really appreciates it and all that you know they were just having this boys conversation where boys gossip and talk about you know biggie also gave them a tax about quiz of where they have traveled to they should talk to themselves about where they have traveled to and the housemate had the opportunity to talk about where they have traveled to where our madam katrina the boss lady said that she has traveled to somewhere 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 where she spent two million naira a night and then nengi talked about where she has traveled to istanbul and um, kaisha said where she has traveled to all the housemates had said them um, um, Erica said she has traveled to Disneyland. You understand that she felt like a baby when she got there. They just shy expressed their 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 experience when they traveled, and it was really see uh, at the end of the day, I really like how these housemates were. I don't know what has happened. I don't know the drama that has gone down because both of us, I mean me, I mean you, we are part of the problem these housemates are having. And at the end of the day, I just hope that during the um, reunion time, they are going to sort this out and definitely move on from it anyway moving on guys it was time for the thursday night challenge neo and brighto already had a like microphone infringement kind of a thing and their best bill wallet was supposed to be like reduced or something like that you get but at the at the arena during their attacks you understand 
Biggie actually pardoned them and said that he will not be lenient like this next time that he has forgiven them and all that that their betway wallet still remains the same and then he moved on to saying that they asked you know they, by the time biggie asked them to get to know themselves apparently biggie was also taking notes of things they spoke about themselves so biggie was asking you they shared the group into two the ladies and the guys and then they were asking themselves questions about the things they spoke about as themselves like for instance somebody also said that a goosey soup should not be in the kitchen who is the guy that said it? like a lady will be the one reading the question and answering who the guy is to get so that was just the question getting to know themselves like asking questions about themselves because apparently it was a task for them to get to know themselves so if you were not paying attention that means you missed out anyway guys at the end of the tax it was the girls that actually won the tax or so something something really there's something I noticed due towards the end of this tax thing, Lucy was pacing around. I don't know why she was pacing around. I don't know what she was, but as she was praying, I really don't know what was happening, why she was pacing around. But that's what I noticed. To end this particular highlights of day four, it was friends talking to Lilo about her attache with Eric, and of course she was trying to explain herself. That no, she's not attaching herself. But at the end of the day, you know this kind of a thing that you might not know what you're doing, but people who are close to you will be telling you that oh, you're doing it like this, you're doing like this, this, this. this. Though she was trying to justify that she's not attached, like she's not always with him and all that. They were saying um, it was um, Prince and Dorothy, and she was just trying to say that she she's not always with him. She always comes to talk to them and all that. And they were telling her that you are. But to us, I felt like Lilo came and spoiled her game with this whole Eric thing. You understand? And though it has happened, but I'm sure she recapping and looking at it now, she will understand what it really is. Anyway, guys, that's the end of highlights day two, and we are already in day four and tomorrow i'll be coming your way again with the highlight of day five and probably day six that's depending on the one they show i hope you guys enjoy this highlight please what is your favorite highlight um, scene that you like leave it in the comment section please 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 subscribe if you haven't this is your number one spot for tata for amebo aproko on youtube or more guys based on this big brother and just show i hope you enjoyed my videos if you did give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe i will most definitely see you guys in my next one take care of yourself guys bye